Welcome to my first episode of Entrepreneurship with Inestimable. So I just wanted to come to you very quickly and just kind of give you like an overview of this week. So if you see my previous video, um, I launched my first e-commerce business um, last Saturday, November the 28th. And today is Sunday. December the 6th. So yesterday completed my first week in business. So <laughs> here's my overview. So as far as sales are concerned, um, I'm actually doing pretty good. I had a total of four sales this week. Um, so it put me in the black, which is really good. Um, minus my, um, my monthly reoccurring expenses just for like my Shopify store and some of the apps that I use, I use in conjunction with it, um, it still left me in the black, which is a plus, you know, um, of course with any business endeavors, you know, there'll be ups and downs. Some days you may not get the sales that you forecasted. Some days you may get more than you thought that you would. It's just kind of a part of it. So I'm completely fine with that either way. Um, because it is a new business, just advertisement has been one of my main things. So I'm not, I'm excited about the sales, of course, because that's a positive thing that's why you know I, I wanted to open the store but getting my name out there is really like what I've been trying to push this week so one of the avenues that I have is YouTube so I watch a lot of, well I follow a few people on YouTube you guys and I've seen that they always post pictures like like just pictures on YouTube so I was like okay well maybe I can do that too and that would be a means of advertising okay so I I seen that I didn't have the, <laughs> the option and I was kind of like you know like oh well how do I do it and I was like asking other people and so I just went to good old Google and tried to look it up and of course the video popped up another YouTube video and it said that you have to have 10,000 followers in order to post a picture on YouTube. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't have 10,000 followers. I'm like, how am I going to do that? And so instead of just allowing that to stop me, I was like, okay, well, what other means of advertisement can I do? So... I've already had, I already have Facebook, so I made a Facebook group that, um, Facebook group is, uh, it's called My Inestimable Apparel, um, and I'll leave the links to that below in the description box. I have a TikTok, so I started using, like, my TikTok to advertise, what I didn't know is TikTok actually has like a, a section for like small businesses. So now I post into that section or I use those hashtags on TikTok. Um, my Instagram, I have like a personal Instagram and then I have like a open Instagram where I would like post like my, um, my videos for YouTube and like just some of like the different meals that I created and things like that. So I, I began to use that. And then I was like, okay, well, because I can't use, I can't send a picture on Instagram, on YouTube. I started making like little, um, advertisement videos on YouTube. Why not? So I say that to say, you guys, never allow one no to stop you. Like I could have just been like, oh, well, I don't have 10,000 followers, so I can't do this. I can't use YouTube. It may not be in the capacity that I originally was, was going to do it, but so what? I'm still making it work. So I say that to say never accept no. Never accept no. 
there's always more than one way to skin a cat. You know, that's what I used to say back in the day. Um, so don't allow someone's no to stop you from doing what you want to do. Um, outside of that, the only, you guys, okay, so hiccups will happen in everything that you do. Just be prepared for somewhere along the line there to be a hiccup. This is mine. So I like to, well, I was trying, because this is my first time using Shopify. So I'm still like learning a lot of the things from the back end. And so I was kind of playing like with the quantities and stuff like that. Um, as far as the items that I do have on my site. I had no idea what I was doing when I did it. Somehow, me being me, I managed to erase almost half of my inventory out of my store. <laughs> and it's crazy because I didn't even know. Like, I typically look, I'll typically go to my site so I can see what it looks like from the outside versus just looking on the back end. And when I looked, like stuff was just missing, like options that I had, like for like my bedding, I have like several options up there and I had like four blankets. My shower curtains were gone, like in some other sections, like stuff was just missing. And I was just like, oh my God, like I was so heartbroken, you guys. <laughs> I was like, my heart low key dropped. And I was like, but let me finish that story really quickly um so long story short um i did end up erasing almost half of my inventory but three days later and by the grace of god <laughs> um i was able to figure out what i did wrong and i was able to restore those items back to my store and you guys like to me at that time it was such a big thing because I my family has been so supportive like they're all advertising for me and I'm so grateful but it just goes to say you know that it's really important to have <laughs> a really strong support system backing you so I am truly grateful for my friends and family who are helping me along the way I'm not doing it by myself I can't take all the credit and I won't try to because I'm not but um I say that to say that things sometimes happen sometimes the unexpected happens and instead of allowing it to just discourage you and make you be like whatever I don't want to do this anymore it's too hard like take it in stride and keep going do whatever you got to do to figure it out um if you can't do it yourself inquire help call customer service whatever you got to do um and just figure it out get it done just like that nike shirt or like the nike slogan how it says just do it just do it like it's no way around it but lastly I just want to say that in life, you have to have balance. So 
I guess my second tip for today would just be trying to try to have or find balance in your life in whatever that you're doing. Um, me personally, I still have my personal life. I still have a full time job and I'm still trying to run a business. So, you know, it's important to me to try and find some kind of balance in all of that. Um, because there are still things that I like to do just like on my own, just to relax. And if I don't kind of plan my day accordingly, then I won't get to do those things. And it doesn't always go as planned, but, um, I try, I try. Um, so, so far this last week, I feel like has really begun to show me different things about myself. Um, some of my strengths, some of my weaknesses, and I can definitely say already that this is going to be a very interesting journey. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. But um, in terms of just trying to make sure that you find balance, it's important that you do because you don't want to burn yourself out. Because it can be a lot, you guys. Anything that you're trying to do, especially when you're trying to handle multiple things, can be a lot. It can be stressful. So it's very important to just try and relax when you when you can. Find schedule out if you have to some me time just for you. Today is Sunday. Today is my day of rest. So, um. I said to myself, outside of doing a promo, I wasn't going to touch anything else in my store. I wasn't going to do anything outside of just relax. And that's exactly what I did. I took the opportunity to hang out with one of my besties. We went to see some lights. We had dinner. We went shopping a little bit. And it, excuse me. It was nice. It's what I wanted to do. It was a nice refresher for me. So, in everything that you do, you guys, take pride in it. Try your hardest. Um, really put in the effort to be successful. Know that sometimes things happen, but stay encouraged. Um, Take your you time when needed and just do the best that you can, guys. Do the best that you can. Week one has been really good and I'm grateful. So until next time, you guys. See ya.